Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. If you can't handle a frank discussion about sex, then you best get up on out of here. And now, here's the host of Let's Talk About Sex, Greg Gutfeld. That was awesome. <laughs> that was great. Wow. We're trying to, we're trying to uh, morph Red Eye into kind of a lower rent version of the Wendy Williams show. <laughs> okay. Uh, how are you doing? You guys are acting like that's the first time we've used that. We've been doing that for seven years. <laughs> yeah, sure. All right. When it comes to sex, they're circumspect. According to new research, women are hardwired to regret casual sex because of the burden of raising a brat. Meanwhile, men are only bummed about not having sex at all. Studies by the University of Texas and UCLA found that the main regrets for females include losing their virginity to the wrong person, Andy Levy, cheating, or moving too fast. Men, on the other hand, most often grieve over being too timid to approach a lady. So to diet, basically yes. the science is this, which we know. Women are protecting something valuable, i.e. the eggs. Men mm -hmm. have a lot of stuff to waste, the other junk. How is this mind-blowing? It's not mind blowing, but I think women regret it oftentimes because it wasn't that good. Oh, it wasn't really do worth it. tell. No, well, she honestly, didn't. Listen, <laughs> See, it is Wendy Williams. If you're, if you're women, the way women work, right, right, is if we're connected to someone on another level, it becomes a whole different experience. Like in an but elevator? if it's casual <laughs> sex, you got to be good, boys. You got to right, bring you gotta it. Really, you gotta Most really men don't it. know how to bring it, so we go home and we say that wasn't worth it. What happened to her? I'm sorry. I don't, I don't I'm, know. Saying, I'm just. I think she's, 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 she's like pro-human centipede. Is what I, got <laughs> All I know is I was only wow. kidding about taking the Sally wow. Jesse Raphael <laughs> route, but it seems to be Listen, working. I got to be honest. That's she, what I'm here for, right? Yeah, exactly. She's right. Yeah. What, Sharon? Is this a big surprise? It's not a big surprise. We know that uh, women are like to, you know, be emotionally attached to mm -hmm. a, a, a situation, yeah. if you will. And men were filthy animals. Mm -hmm. That we'll is. We'll put our penis in a, you know. Buzz exhaust. I was waiting for <laughs> that sentence. To end. That's Jesse, an amazing visual. how many women do you regret not sleeping with at the Short Hills Mall where you were? I got them all, Greg. Oh, really? I got everyone yes. Else. Yeah. Pretzel uh, time, girl. Even one or two, I'm not even sure if it was a girl. Um, <laughs> how did they get through all those layers? <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, he does that because then afterwards he can say, see, that lasted a really long time. But most of it was just getting through the layer. You do understand how hard it is to get a taser through six layers. You know what I mean? That is Look, I only and for shoplifting, it's great. It's, all, it's terrific. <laughs> Greg, I only know what I've seen on uh, German websites, but I'd imagine that the person who most regrets uh, casual sex situations is whoever has to clean up that coffee table. Because <laughs> <laughs> you, you always have snacks, Andy. Uh, this is yes. the type of story that other shows are afraid to tackle. Absolutely. How do you think we've handled it so far as our maiden voyage in our Let's Talk About Sex biting hardcore afternoon show type segment? I would give it, I think, an A minus. Really? Thank yeah, you. I think I've learned a lot, uh, a lot of which I didn't want to know. Yes. Okay. But that's okay. The thing for me is, I regret the times I was too shy to hook up, like they mm -hmm. say about guys. I also regret the times I wasn't too shy and did hook up. Yes. <laughs> Basically, the only thing I don't regret is staying home. Yes, that's true. So I regret that's everything. That's why I just stay home. But you know what this oh, is? Poor this thing. is not about behavior, it's about science. And I always go back to the infamous casino metaphor. When you imagine a casino and a woman has two chips, each one's $500, and a man has a thousand chips that are $1 each, they're the same amount of chips, but they have to gamble differently because one has two chips, the other has a thousand. That dictates all behavior in life, from building bridges and fighting wars to regret. And I, uh, by the way, I didn't come up with that theory. Theory's been around a long time. I hope you don't say that to like girls. Let's <laughs> <laughs> pick up line. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Oh, we have another sex topic. Oh, yes. I almost wish we could see that Oof, thing again, but we God. won't. Researchers say financial worries and the distractions of Facebook and mm. junk mean people are having sex less frequently. A poll of 15,000 Brits have found that those ages 16 to 44 were having sex less than five times a month. What? I know, that sounds like a lot. Of course, the crappy economy, <laughs> the crappy economy and modern technology are to blame. Five times a month. If you were having it sex five times a month for all, yeah, it's a lot, that's a lot. Said one genius. <laughs> what? People have tablets and smartphones and they're taking them into the bedroom <laughs> using Twitter and Facebook answering emails. Now, I happen to believe that this is true, uh, Jesse. Um, am I just very old and frail? No. No. Uh, <laughs> you're 
very small, <laughs> which can be, the frailty comes along with being your size. Yes. But, uh, <laughs> the average woman, it, the study said the average woman uh, aged under 44 said that they had 7.7 .7 partners. Mm -hmm. Now you might wonder how is that possible yeah. to have a seventh of a partner. Yes. But people often forget that Greg used to be very promiscuous <laughs> when he was younger. I, you know, that was coming at me so slow. That if it was a batting cage, I, I would have swung, swung 13 purpose. times. Because so I wanted the audience to catch up to the fact that it's like, Greg's a seventh of a person. Yeah, it's going to be hilarious. Uh, yeah. it's, it's seven tenths, actually. Uh, Sherrod, um, yes. uh, the survey suggests some are using online porn as a substitute. I honestly can't believe that's Get the truth. Yeah. yeah, you know what? You can use that as a substitute, but not all the time. Sometimes you've got to include your partner with your porn. You gotta bring your partner into your freaky. Oh, okay. Because that agree. way then it's all good. Yeah, that's true. It's if monogamous. You, don't be selfish with it. Yeah, that's true. Mm, Tend to die out. Girls, but... girls are just as freaky as we are. Yeah. When you bring it in there, she'll be like, oh, I got better videos than that. <laughs> Bam. It's like, oh, this is the freak that I like. <laughs> and I do one of these. I don't know what he's doing, Andy. Uh, Jenna Daya. Starting a fire. Yeah. Has the modern yeah, era of... changed Trying your habits? No, I mean, if my man can't distract me from my iPad, then that's pretty sad for him. I feel like, yeah, you know what? I do take my phone into bed. I do take my iPad into bed. But oh, I would just. I what take I... it in fully expecting someone to do. Do you have the me. new iPad Air though? Mm. I do not. Oh, well, see. So it's that's pretty, probably yeah, where I've gone yeah, wrong in all of this. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I see your. Point. I bring my phone into bed too, but just to break weed on it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even understand. I was what that for the crew. That's right. They're laughing. I'm just glad you Jessica. said weed. It's funny without you, Jess. <laughs> no, I just I, I don't even know. It's, I didn't know you could break it. I don't I, know. I, I, how do you break weed? When you break it up. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't, uh, what do I know? I'm a uh, teetotal. Wow. I like how a room full of people laugh and y'all just staring at each other with a white <laughs> emptiness. <laughs> just white emptiness staring at each other. Speaking of Andy, yeah. yeah. Uh, could this actually explain your abject loneliness and the look of misery on your face? No. No, I don't think that's it. <laughs> no. no. I, maybe a part of it. Yeah. But there, there are so many reasons for that. But I just like, to blame it on one thing isn't fair to that one thing. Yeah, I think. yeah, that's yeah. True. Um, did, did you want me to talk yes, about the story? Talk, yeah, talk no, about the story. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, just didn't know. Um, I was actually, I was talking about having less sex with, uh, as a, a bunch of friends and, uh, and I were watching the Doctor Who uh, 50th anniversary. <laughs> he was by himself. So. Yeah. And we all couldn't believe it. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't understand it at all. So I, I don't really know what's going on here. I have a theory. Uh-oh. All right. Um, these are not distractions. What happens is they are other oh, things man. to do, which are different than distractions, because other things to do actually fool you into thinking that you're doing something, whereas a distraction is actually a distraction. So if, there's, if you're actually planning on doing something, you're less likely There's to do There's not really it. other things to do. You think you got other things to do because you got Twitter and Facebook. Yeah. So you're like, I, what, I wonder what my Twitter's saying, what my email's saying. Exactly. So you think you got things. You ain't got yeah. nothing to do, but get on that thing and do your, your business. Yeah. No, you know what, though? It's like you get up in the morning, and let's say it's Saturday, 9 a.m. You could go get a paper, get some breakfast and some coffee. You'll be back by 10. But if you get up at 9 in the morning and there's a laptop, you don't leave until 2 p.m. That's true. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. It, is, it true. is subtracted four hours out of every morning of your life. Yeah. yeah. Think about how much you'd get done if there were no. Just Twitter alone, I feel like, has hogged just decades from my life just yeah. in this past but, year. Yeah. It, but, you know, they, it, it's sense. not just from relationships. <laughs> it's yeah. like doing work. Yeah. It's like if you have to write stuff or do or prepare for a comedy bit, which Sherrod rarely does. Whoa, whoa, wow. Uh, but, you know, uh, but you know what? Racism. You're just say the mean. N word and hurt less. Yeah, but the thing is, I'm not the only one who gets hit around here. Yeah. But what. you know what? It also could be appropriate because we have longer lifespans that we are are now li living to be 85. Maybe that's what this stuff is for. Because are we, you know, we get all our crap done by the time we're 30. What do we do? Mm. Yeah, that's right. You'll get the sex in your late 80s. That's right. <laughs> Save up for a good sex. Greg. My logic is terrible. But that's terrible. the thing. No, but along with the longer lifespan, you've got Viagra, Cialis, all of that yeah. stuff. Yeah. Now you can have sex. Men can. But anyway. no matter if you got Viagra, Cialis. What do you mean, who mean wants an old man sweating on top of him anyway? With a Nobody wants that. <laughs> Nobody wants that. That's not what the girls want. Oh, I know some people who would pay for that. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, yeah. It's a website that I often frequent. I'm now having to rethink my second career plan. <laughs> yes. this is not all right, good. time to take a break. But don't even think of leaving me now. You know what? I have a new book. It's called Not Cool. You should order this. Look at that cover alone. It's beautiful. It's coming out in March, but you can pre-order it now at all book retailers. Also, you can go to my website. GeekGutfeld.com. Go there right now and order 16 copies. I dare you.